Hello guys, I'm Hasan. So today we will be solving a question uh, from magnetic forces and fields. Uh, here we have a system. Uh, we have horizontal rails and there is a bar, conducting bar, lying on this uh, rails. Uh, it's a conducting bar, has a mass M and its length is L. So, a voltage source is applied to the rails in order to maintain a constant current, I. So, this means uh, there is no contribution of um, electromagnetic induction. Uh, so, it's like here we have a voltage source. It generates a constant current, current here. Uh, so the question asks us to find F uh, on the bar, this one, both the magnitude and the uh, direction. And in part B, we are asked to find uh, the distance D that the bar must move along the rails from the rest to attain speed V. So if you want to try it on your own, you can pause the video. Uh, now I'm starting. Uh, here we have a magnetic field pointing up and the current is going like this. We know that uh, the force uh, can be expressed as uh, L times I cross B. This means I, like pointing in this direction, D is pointing in this direction, so the cross product will give us the force in this direction. So our direction is like to the right, and this is the vector F. Uh, this cross product cancels, I mean, becomes one because. B and I are always perpendicular to each other. Therefore, we can write the magnitude of F as L times I times B. So this I and that I are the same. Uh, so this is our answer for the first part. And uh, direction is to the right. This is our answer for the first part, part A. And for part B, uh, we will use the work energy equivalent. Uh, find the distance D that the bar must move. Uh, so we know that we have a constant current here, I, and constant magnetic field. Therefore, our force acting on this bar is also constant. So, uh, we will write F times D, uh, which is the work done by this force. Actually, this is that product, but they are pointing in the same direction. Therefore, this dot product also cancels, is equal to the change in the energy. So initially the bar was uh, at rest and finally it has velocity V. So uh, the energy, the kinetic energy here is expressed as 1 over 2 m V squared. So we obtain D as mv square over 2d. Uh, and f. Uh, this is f. d is equal to mv square over 2f. So we know the f from here. So let's substitute this value in. Then we obtain d as mv square 
over 2F, so 2LIB. So as a summary, uh, we have a uh, constant current traveling like this. Uh, this current and this magnetic field uh, causes a force in this direction. This thing starts to accelerate here, and as it travels distance d, it reaches the value of velocity v. So that's all for this question. Thank you for listening.